Hey everyone, this is Anton from Mixbox, and in this video, we'll go through how Arturia Keylab works with Pro Tools. I'm going to go through the Arturia Key Lab with Pro Tools as follows. Firstly, the installation of the Arturia software. Secondly, the MIDI configuration, both in the Arturia software and in Pro Tools. Then thirdly, I'll give you a demonstration of how I use the products together. Let's start with the installation. So on the Arturia website, go to the products area and choose your product. Mine's the controller, which is the Key Lab 61 Mark II. I select that product, and then within that product page, it gives you the option to start. So click on start, and it gives you all the instructions you need to get going with the software and the MIDI controller. So the first thing is you create an account, register your product, and download and install the Alteria Software Center. Once that's launched on your computer, log in with the registration details that you provided in creating your account, and then install your product. In my instance, it was the Keylab Mark II with Analog Lab and Piano 5. It then also gives you the ability to download the Alteria MIDI Control Center. With the software installed, now launch the MIDI Control Center. Check that your product, and mine's the Keylab Mark II, is here and connected in blue. There's a number of different device memories. Mine happens to be in the user one. I'll now just check that it's connected to the device and the software by playing on the keys. As you can see here, I can see the MIDI information is being registered with the flashing of the arrow going in from the device into the software. So I now know that that is connected. Now we need to go into the device settings. Once we've clicked on that, it gives us the option to be able to select our door map. And you can see on here, I'm going to select Pro Tools. We also need to make sure that the door fader mode is set to jump and exit out of this back to the controller map. Now we can go into Pro Tools and go to the Setup menu and within Setup, choose Peripherals. And within Peripherals, we need to make sure we do the settings on Machine Control and the MIDI controllers. Starting with machine control, ensure that the machine control remote is enabled. Once that is enabled, you also need to make sure you've got the MIDI controller set as type HUI, and that that is also set for send and receive from your Keylab Mark II door. The channel eight appears automatically for me, and so I didn't have to make any changes to that. Hopefully that does the same on works for you. So now if we're in Pro Tools and we press play, the project will start. And if we press stop on the Key Lab, the project will stop as well. You can also press record, which is great for when you're working at the keyboard and you want to instantly go to record and stop. You can also press the mix button and that will take you to the mix view and then you can flip back to the project view, which is great for working quickly with Pro Tools. So as you're working on a particular track, directly from the Key Lab allows you to select solo as well as uh, removing solo and then adding mute, has read and write, and also you can select record for that particular track as you're working on it, which really does speed up your workflow. In addition, on the right hand side of the keyboard, it allows you to control different banks of faders, and that's for the volume control for each of the different tracks in groups of eight. Also, at the top of each of those faders, we've got a pan from left and right for each of the tracks that we're working on. Thanks for watching. That's my overview of using Alteria Key Lab with Pro Tools done. I particularly quite like it. It does most of the things that I need. It uh, would have been nice if the jog shuttle dial worked to be able to scroll through on Pro Tools. It does work in some other doors, but unfortunately it doesn't work in Pro Tools. If you like this video, please do click the like button if you're into that sort of thing, and then subscribe to get updates from me. Until next time, see you then.